gonna show you how to assemble IKEA pack sliding doors two different ways one on the side if you don't have enough space in the room and one on the floor if you have enough space to assemble box sliding door it's gonna be three part series and I'm gonna take you from here to here in a part one I'm gonna show you how to join the frames together basically how to prepare the wardrobe frames for the sliding doors how to attach the top and bottom rail and in a part three how to slide the rail properly on the IKEA PAX wardrobe and we're starting with the first frame here we're gonna build it on the side as, as you see we don't have enough space so the, all the brackets screws and everything what you need with the one frame is there all the hinges side panels dividing panels slim dividing panels two electric screwdrivers of course my best toys for this job and we're starting with the side panel so one l-shaped bracket from one side just slide it in and secure it with the two screws one on the top one on the bottom we're gonna have three straight brackets they go in on the holes on the middle just place it in and secure it with the one screw don't go too tight with this screw because we're gonna need to posi uh, move them up and down a little bit when we're gonna place the slim dividing panels that's the third one secure it not too hard you see I can still move it left and right now this is the top or bottom panel depend where you're gonna put the hinges so just slide it in all have to go pretty easy into the l-shaped brackets if it go too hard there's something wrong so it should be pretty smooth operation and secure it with the two screws now we got the l built you're gonna open the box with the with the panels you're gonna have mirror in this case the best things would be if you can uh, uh, put the frame against the wall so you have support on the old parts here I'm gonna improvise a little bit because I don't have one long wall so I just gonna build it against the wardrobe which I would not recommend it so we're gonna place the first uh, mirror panel in make sure you in the gap completely in the pot in the side in the side panel and in a top a panel as well otherwise you're gonna have a pot problem with the last panel this is the slim dividing panel just place it in if you put the mirror panel in properly you should not have a problem with this uh, to slide it in so make sure you completely in the gap there is a small gap in a dividing panel the slim uh, slim panel with the rubber see just place it in a in a side panel and then slide it in in the slim dividing panel you can tap it in slightly just go gently because it's mirror you see I don't have any support on the middle because I'm not on the wall not leaning against the wall leaning against the wardrobe so I'm gonna push that in a moment closer second dividing panel just place it in see that's how it looks from the front no gaps third panel in the side panel slide it in the gap and push it in the slim dividing panel again just tap it gently don't go too hard here but it must be connections must be like that you see gonna see from the top if you connect connect it completely that's how it looks on the edge you see it's nicely in the gap so you have no space there and we can put the last slim dividing panel see I pushed that bracket out a little bit so I can get in easily so you see it's going very easily in so so that indicate we have all the mirrors in a correct position correctly in the gaps so the last one we should not have any problem when we put it in if you leave first mirror with one millimeter second one one and third one one you would have three millimeters extra and you're not gonna cut it at the end so the last mirror coming in nicely in the bottom panel and just tapping in gently into the dividing panel 
Now we're gonna put the top or bottom panel depend where the hinge is gonna go and just slide it in. Find the right cap there and slide it in. It should go pretty easy if you're in the right hole. I'll slide it completely in. Now we can prepare the other side panel exactly the same. It's going to be L-shaped bracket coming in. The L-shaped bracket have a mark L and R on it. So left and right one. So put the right one in the correct hole and secure it with the two screws. See, in this case, we have a mirror doors. You got a lot of different combination. You can get frosted glass on combina or combination of the imitation of the wood or different colors. In this case, we're going with the mirror panels. Now we're going to have three other three brackets. Just slide them in. So in each dividing panel, you've got two brackets. So just slide the side panel in. It has to go at the same time in the both sides. So here it would be perfect if you have a second person helping one on one side, another one on another side. Just slide one side in, other side exactly the same time in. If you go too deep with one side, not going to be able to slide the other side. So one by one, little by little, and slide it completely in. There should be no gaps in a top or bottom panel and the dividing panel should be right on the side panels as well. Now we still have a gap here. So just gonna press it in completely and it's without the gaps. Now we can secure once you're happy with how the frame is together, you can secure it with the all screws. So it's gonna be two screw in the top and bottom panel, two screws on each side. So four screws in the top and bottom panel and four screws in the side panels, so two on each side. It's quite hard to assemble it this way. Two people would be ideal, uh, but you can see it's possible with the one person as well. So this is the straight brackets, which they're gonna secure uh, the slim dividing panels. And we secure it with the screw. We can tie them now completely, the bottom one. Exactly the same on the middle, just slide it out, slide it up and secure it with the screw. Lock the bottom one completely and the last bracket exactly the same. Just slide it up and lock it with the screw on the top. Finish the screws around the frames. We got another two here in the top panel. And this is the small locking screw. Just place it in and secure the straight bracket. You're going to have six of these, so three on each side. Just place it in and secure it. When you have the frosted glass or mirror mirror panels, watch out because they're very heavy and they quite fragile, more fragile than the imitation of wood. So just be careful. That's what I'm saying. Second person would be useful because as you see, I, I have to hold it always with one hand or I have, uh, have the whole frame I have, uh, have to be pushed against uh, board group all the time. So we're done with this. We can uh, put, the, put it the other way around so we can access, we can put the hinges on. This is inner door, so we're going to have the slimmer hinges, the smaller hinges. You see the wheel is in the inner side. That's how it's supposed to be. Don't put it the other way around. Exactly the same top hinge, the wheel inner side, and we secure it with the three screws. So this is the top hinges. And this is the bottom hinge, it's a small hook at the bottom, secured with the two screws, on the other side exactly the same. So we have this door almost done. So this is going to be the inner door. And in this case, we're going to have, we're going to go on the right side with those doors. Um, but that's what you're going to see in a part three. This is just kind of a, a duster. So just take the sticker out and uh, place it in a gap, you're going to stick 
in the gap this this side gonna close the water frame we not need on the other side so now I'm gonna show you the second door is gonna be on the floor as we have enough space so we can build it this way it's much more comfortable don't need to be worried and always hold the frame so we place the L-shaped brackets in exactly the same as with the first door, secure it with the bottom and the top screws. So two screws on each side, exactly the same. You see the brackets going uh, pretty easy inside, you know, you see the top uh, coming in that hole very easily. So if it goes a bit harder, you're probably in a wrong hole. So check which is left, which is right one, and they should slide nicely inside this is the second side panel exactly the same secure the l-shaped brackets with the two screws you see the top coming nicely in that gap that's how it's supposed to be secure it with the two screws now we can join the side panels the sliding in pretty easy as well as the whole thing here is supposed to be so you can you have indication you're doing the things right if all go nice and smooth two screws securing the bottom and the top panel on each side it's much easier this way on the floor gonna have three straight brackets Place them in a hole. They, those brackets are kind of U shape and they locking the side panels with the slim dividing panel. You see that's the U shape, and that's how you place it in. Secure it with one screw. Don't go too hard. Still, we need to move them left and right when we're gonna put the dividing panels in. So secure the last one, and we can put the frame the other way around. So we have good access to the mirror panels. Open the box and we can go one by one, slide it in nicely in the corner. So it has to come nicely to the, into those gaps all the way in. So one side, the other side. And now when you're sliding those slim panels in, you should not have any resistance against the glass or mirror or whatever panel you have so it's just nicely smooth sliding in exactly the same second one sliding slide to the dividing panel if you need to tap it tap it slightly very be very gentle here as this is mirror or if you have a glass you don't want to break anything leave the bracket slightly on the side and slide the dividing panel in. See, it's go pretty easy. Just lift the mirror a little bit up and slide it in. Third panel. Same thing, slide it in nicely. Place it in. Close it. There it is. In the last one, we can slide the dividing panel in the middle panel and we have the last panel this is going to be slightly harder as we're going between two panels we just slide the panel in in this case make sure you in the right holes and slide it in when you're sliding that panel in do not lift that panel up have to slide it straight in otherwise you can break it you see i have to push it quite hard but i'm pushing very straight in not lifting the panel up at all so that's how you don't damage the glass don't break the glass now we can lift the whole frame watch how you, how i'm holding the frame on the, on those two connections two dividing panels it's quite steady at, at this point but still you have to be careful go slowly here and we can place the second panel in first straight brackets in one in each dividing slim panel make sure the glass is completely in in the right gaps so we don't have a problem when we're gonna put the last side panel in the second side panel in one side exactly the same as we did on the previous one another side little bit in 
if it's two people you can go at the same time on both sides here I have to go from one side to another side slide one part little bit in another side little bit in once you close you can close the gap you see I'm lifting the frame up making sure the glass is in the gaps uh, in the in the in the gaps and then I close the completely the frame so I'm not pressing on the on the glass uh, at this point I know the glass is in the in the gaps now we, we have all frame together we can secure it with the all screws the brackets free on a one side panel and locking screws free locking screws so it's one screw on a side panel and one locking screw per bracket those electric screwdrivers are big help here so there is so many screws for those sliding doors I'm gonna leave the links in the description so if you wanna check it out we have other side exactly the same brackets in secure the screws on the side panel and locking screw in the dividing panels this is gonna be the outer door so this is the bigger hinge unlock the hinge I'm gonna explain that as well in a part 3 when I'm gonna hang the doors but it's a good practice I'm doing it right here before I even go on the wardrobe so I don't have I, if I forgot it's already done so I unlock the hinge with the, this top plastic just twist it to the side secure the hinge with the free screws exactly the same bottom hinges so this is the outer door you see the hinge is bigger here as well and we secure it with the two screws each bottom hinge this kind of stickers they is gonna be four on each side one on the top hinge one on the bottom hinge and three on the middle so sorry five on uh, each side see over the top hinge on the middle in each dividing panel this is basically preventing the doors against this against the scratching or making noise when they sliding against each other but this uh, stickers we putting only on the outer doors this is the duster exactly the same this is gonna be on the middle just take the sticker out and slide the duster in the in the gap and this is the end of the part two uh, in a part three I'm gonna explain you how to complete this job how to position the doors correctly on the PAX wardrobe how to unlock the hinges how to lock it basically A to Z how to complete this mission impossible and how to make it mission possible thank you for watching guys you have a fantastic day and see you in part three